Welcome to QC once again. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Lemon mint. My mom is a hard worker. Being raised in Sweden, she learned that hard work pays off, but within the limits of the Swedish mentality, lagom. Lagom means just enough, and it's everywhere. People should have lagom success, lagom excitement, and be lagom happy. But there are some people in life we just wish we could reward with something more than lagom. Bring in my mom's big 60th birthday. So I set out to give my mom the most epic surprise of all time. And she had no idea where she was going until we were boarding our second flight in Doha to the Maldives. This will be a very fun video. Here we are at Frankfurt Airport, <laughs> me and my mom again. How are you feeling today? Uh, I have no idea where we're going. I keep guessing and he just keeps saying you'll find out later. <laughs> what are your current guesses of where we're going? Because it's been a few weeks since I told you about this trip and you've been guessing all these random places. Okay, my f top guess I think is Dubai. Okay, second? Uh, oh. Second guess is, I don't have a second guess. <laughs> <laughs> So you're 100% okay, uh, sure it's Dubai? Sicily. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not going to ask you what you'd prefer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll give you some clues while we walk to security. And Ooh. then I'll just hand you your boarding pass Ooh. when we get there. Because we managed to check in without mom. We also got our negative COVID test yesterday. So we're really ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. So it's been a very tough week keeping this secret. Because I've had to give so many, like details on packing without giving it away it's so so hard i guess mom ended up with dubai let's see if she's correct so this morning in frankfurt we saw a qatar airways plane take off and my mom was like are we flying with them and i was like no no <laughs> but we are so this whole time i've also had to tell mom not to look at the iconic frankfurt airport departure board and i have not but i think maybe now you know, around when the flight leaves. 3.30. Yeah, around then. So I should look. So you can look and then you can guess based on what you see that it could be. I, 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 I'm not <laughs> even sure it narrows it down, but let's okay. have a look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Departure board. Let's see, 14.25. Not Dusseldorf, I'm pretty sure of that. Mykonos, <laughs> possibility. Dubai, <laughs> like I said. <laughs> Definitely not Nuremberg, uh, not Köln. Well, that's about it. Dubai, I think. Oh, 420, San Francisco. Nah. Doha, 15:30 exactly. Amman, could be. So I feel like now we have more options than we did before. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Doha, I don't believe that's where we're going. If it's Doha, I don't believe that's where we're going. If okay. we're going to Doha now, I don't think that's the final destination, because okay. I've been there. So I said something this morning just regarding what you should pack. Right, which sounded like an overnight stay. So overnight stay without luggage, that means it's either a transfer or it's an overnight flight. It's a transfer. So we're you're only figuring going for it a week. out. <laughs> Where, why are we going so far? But so what, what could it be then? If it's an overnight, <laughs> if it's yeah. a transfer, what could it be? It could be anything. Okay, I mean, let's take out the first boarding pass. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> the first boarding pass reveal is... Because I can't read it. Really, I'm like, what? I think you can see... <laughs> Business class to Doha. Yes. Frankfurt to Doha. Okay. 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 And you just said the first boarding pass, which means there's <laughs> another one. So, is, am so I supposed this is going to be so exciting. Because the last flight, if you didn't see, was Qatar Airways as well when I surprised mom on the first one. Yes. Uh, and yesterday, mom was just talking about lemon mint. Yes. How much you miss it and you know what this <laughs> means. Yes. Now let's go so we don't okay. miss the flight. Okay, okay. I may look insane, but I feel very safe. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Are you excited? <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to QC once again. Cheers. 
Probleme im Menü. is this setup we've got going on here. I mean, wow, wow, wow. So let's see how is Oscar doing over here? Doing pretty well. <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> So we just took off. How does it feel so far? Obviously they have taken many precautions here on Qatar. We're also drinking right now, which is why we don't have our masks on. But what do you, oh, do you want to show them the little, uh, um, well, yeah, the amenity. I already took my socks out and I'm wearing them. Actually. Oh, okay. I like yes. this. I've never seen the female amenity kit, actually. So here is the eye mask. You're holding it, it's upside down. <laughs> This is some sort of spray. I you need to show that. the camera, I'm not just... Sorry, saying. I'm looking at it myself. There's this, which yes, is... Yes, there's this. Facial hydrating mist. And then there's this. Okay, you're showing them the back. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is such an experience so for well. a viewer. Here, what does it say? It says Montevibiano anti-aging moisturizer. Oh, but also the safety kit. Oh, so, oh yeah, you already opened that as well. I opened this as well before. I'm going to show you what's in here. Very useful. There's another face mask. There is a towel. Wait, there's hand... No, that's hand sanitizing oh. gel, I think. Oh, it is Oh, gel. but you need to show them what else we got. Imagine you take four flights on Qatar. You get four of these. Yep. And then there's also a set of plastic gloves. Mom is having a very hard time deciding just what she's gonna get. One thing that has actually changed for the better, which I have no idea why, is that Qatar now gives pajamas on daytime flights. I'm imagining this is because they had so many pajamas now that COVID hit just left over that they're giving them on daytime flights as well. This is a five hour flight. You get pajamas during COVID. Like, tell that to the airlines that aren't even giving their passengers pillows or <laughs> blankets. So guys, a little bit of real talk. This is my first long haul flight in six months. My first business class flight in six months. Honestly, I'm really surprised how normal everything feels. Firstly, like once you're on board, it just feels like it always has and it's just as fun as it's always, as it's always been. So I also wanted to show you guys around because this is my first time flying in a quad with more than two people. So this is a real quad this time. Look at this. We opened up the middle section here, as you can see. And uh, it's just so cool, especially sitting in my seat because I see my mom, I see Oscar over there on the other side, both enjoying Oryx One. I see. So guys, it's actually not so often that any airline, even Qatar Airways, makes me speechless nowadays. I told the crew I was a bit hungry, but they'd run out of Arabic meza. So I was like, fine, I'm not so hungry. Maybe I can have like a little bit of bread. But they were so concerned. They're like, no, 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 you really need food. I'm like, no, no, like, it's fine. I promise we'll be in Doha in two hours. And somehow the crew went back to economy. They went everywhere to try to find me something to eat. And they came up with this feast. How amazing does this plate of food look? to Doha. Next up, no idea. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, nice air conditioning. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can mix 
the luxury here is at a level completely different from <laughs> what we're used to in Europe, I'd say. <laughs> där är Oskar, där är Oskar. Men sådana går vi, ni har, ni har lite oliv eller en ost, cheese plate eller lite vad vill ni ha? Heading to the next gate. But the question is, to where? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So we're at the gate now and mom is still confused. <laughs> I'm looking at this gate and it says male m-a-l-e i have absolutely no it's male. idea male male <laughs> I have and, no idea. and the gate for female is over there <laughs> so uh i guess okay. this is a good buy yeah <laughs> male is actually the capital of the maldives you're kidding you're kidding me oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think i think she's just in shock <laughs> because she was like, okay, this city doesn't make it any more clear where we're actually going. <laughs> yeah, so I was so sure that mom would know what this was, but, um... <laughs> nope. Did you ever think that it might be the Maldives? I never ever thought it would be the Maldives. You didn't? No, no, not for I a second. No, I thought that the farthest that we would go was somewhere in the Middle East. I don't think That's anyone not... expected it, except dad figured it out. Oh, you're kidding I don't me. know how, yeah, like... I didn't, really? I told him, no, it's a secret, I won't tell you till we go. And then he just, he was searching and searching and he figured it out himself that this was the only place we could be going somehow. Really? <laughs> I am in shock. It's like 2 a.m. and I am just like... I don't I think you really it. understand no. what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> okay, we are boarding. Another day, another Q suite. Enjoy your Q suite. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> I'll never forget the feeling I had the first time I landed in the Maldives. Like, I was, you, you see pictures, you hear that it's beautiful, but nothing prepares you for how beautiful it actually is in real life. So I'm just so excited for mom to get to see and experience that in five hours from now. So this will be mom's first time flying a seaplane. Yes, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Are you scared? A little bit. But I love it. I think it's very fun. Okay, you've done it before, so I trust you'll be fun. What did you think of the flight? It was beautiful. Beautiful beach and all the houses and a few trees and so small. Can't believe that I'm here. Mom is a big garden fanatic, so the first thing she notices is what they've done. <laughs> <laughs> they put hearts everywhere. If you're a couple, you can plant a tree here, or like, any, I guess anyone can do it. And you get your own little heart next to it, and it's forever immor immortalized on the island. You have your own <laughs> villa. Your own open water villa. Oh my jeez. <laughs> Sanitized, cleaned, and disinfected. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Like the view? <laughs> and there are the stairs you can go in and swim. <laughs> <laughs>
This is mine and Oscar's third time in the Maldives, but it's our first time with All Inclusive, and it's pretty crazy because we're used to like skipping lunch and then just having like one course each at dinner, maybe maybe sharing like an appetizer or something, and having maybe one drink each per day. And now we're like starter, main course, <laughs> dessert, drink. <laughs> it's really crazy. Okay, they have so many wonderful drinks, and I'm talking non-alcoholic drinks here. Uh, in the Maldives. And this is one of my favorites. This is a, an iced decaffeinated coconut coffee, which is like drinking melted coffee ice cream. <laughs> a little. So let me just narrate here because we were too busy enjoying ourselves to actually sit down and record something with good audio. We had a total of five days at San Siamira Fushi, which we mostly spent swimming, snorkeling, eating, and oh yeah, did I mention swimming? In my opinion, there are few places you can go on vacation on Earth that give you just as much happiness as the Maldives, because the bright blue water, the white sand, the light green trees just inject so much peace into your soul. It's crazy. It sounds dramatic, but it's true, and I'm just so happy and grateful that I could take mom here to see this and experience it for herself. Thank you. Thanks. The first meal of San Siam Irofushi. So in the Maldives, it's almost always a one island, one resort concept. So you may be thinking, what do you do for five days or a week or even two weeks here? Well, there were 15 different places to eat and drink at San Siam Fushi, for example. There's a huge variety of activities ranging from snorkeling to paddling. <laughs> 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 And of course, you can choose which kind of room you like to customize after your preferences, whether you want to stay over the water or whether you want a private pool by the beach. There's so many different ways to customize and make it the trip that you want. And just like that, the week is over. I loved every moment of this. The beauty, the tranquility, the people here. The water, the greenery, it is like a postcard, you know, it's what we used to see in the advertisement for the dream vacation. So it's already time to leave, this is our awesome butler Rushdie, you've been so great, thank you so much for an amazing stay. I hope to see you again. I'm so happy I could take mom here and actually uh, share this experience with her, so we have to thank San Siam for making this possible. Bye from paradise. Fly safe and stay safe. Fly safe. <laughs>